Hi everyone, Marsha here from Do You Salute and welcome to my October plan with me. The theme of this month is an art exhibit um, featuring Colombian painter Pedro Ruiz. So if you didn't know before, my mother-in-law is from Colombia. September 15th to October 15th is considered Hispanic Heritage Month here in the United States. So I wanted to do a painter um, from Colombia to honor my mother-in-law's homeland. When you think about painters from Colombia, the most popular person considered is Fern Fernando Botero. If you are, if you live in New York City and have visited the mall that's across the street from Central Park, you're familiar with the two um, sculptures of Adam and Eve. They have very thick waist or bottoms, and they are very round. This is kind of like his signature. His signature, it's Botero Ismo. I decided to dig a little bit deeper and find another painter, and I'm so happy that I stumbled upon Pedro Ruiz. So one of the things that absolutely caught my eye with his paintings is the, his use of color. If you know me, you know that I absolutely adore gold and I love lots of colors. So I love the way he has like these blue macaws with little pops of the yellow macaws and red. And if you look on the other side, you see his um, blue butterflies and the vendors and and just so much color in his paintings. I also like the fact that his paintings have messages. So his vendor painting that my hand is covering is actually dedicated to the street vendors outside um, who play such an integral part of the community and for society. This museum girl is inspired by bullet journal fellow bullet journaler Ash Gray of Ash Gray Journals. Um, so I put her link down below. Be sure to check out her September theme that has an art gallery. So the paintings that I picked for this um, little gallery set up here for the monthly, I really like them because it's one of an African descent woman and another one of an indigenous descent woman. And in Colombia, the population has different types of people. There's indigenous people, um, the black people from who came to Af from Africa, and then um, European Spaniard people. So Colombia is such a mix of different types of people. And I love that his art reflects this and it tells a story. So these two women carrying the house on her head and on their back it just shows the struggles and stripes and strength and resilience of women this painting i'm absolutely surprised at how well it turned out um i really was not expecting it so every time i see it i just get it sparks so much joy because it shows how much progress you can make if you just keep, keep at it so if you've seen my June and July videos and the quality, the artwork just look crazy and time and time as progress, I keep practicing and I'm already seeing so much improvement. So if you're watching this um, and you're a little bit intimidated about starting to bullet journal or to sketch or to do art, I highly encourage you to keep practicing and do it every day, especially if it sparks joy. Don't get, don't stress yourself out too much about how great it looks. The more practice you do, the more better you'll get at it. You'll see uh, uh, in the next month, the two months, three months, you'll see your growth because I've already seen growth in myself. So this page is the goals and intentions slash tracker page and on the other side is my content page so if you didn't know already i am on the design team for archer and olive so basically i write down the posts that i have due for the month on this side on the bottom as well i i have my own blog that i haven't been as active on that i really would like to restart um, being more active on it so I wrote down posts that I would like to write and then on my YouTube channel I do want to get back to my roots of food and travel alongside with the bullet journaling 
this page here is my mind map and doodles which is basically where i write down um different thoughts but so far i can tell you it's primarily just been the doodles that i've been doing so again like i mentioned earlier every day more i practice the better i get i really loved how the pink blue and yellow interacted with each other in the previous painting and how the hand stuck out kind of like to grab the pen or pencil from you while you're doodling so earlier i mentioned how botero's paint i meant not botero <laughs> ruiz is paintings um tell messages so i think from what i've read about this one this is called soldiers in love and he mentioned that in the uk poppies are are known for like memorial and remembrance but in colombia poppies are associated with the drug trade so it's just interesting how he, the um how he uses these two things to kind of tell the message of like the soldier being covered in poppies my printer kind of started glitching it's running out of ink so it made this like jagged effect which made the painting even better um for my bujo i really enjoyed the effect so right here we're looking at the painting that kind of made me fall in love with this painter i really adore the way the red poppies just interacted with the white background I tried my best to do a poppy here and it was slightly an epic fail. So I just decided to um, write the letters for the day instead. So Tuesdays and Fridays are the days I work in, in office. Those days are usually long for me and I'm beat. So I just put Tuesday and Friday on the same page. Um, and then Saturday and Sunday get their own page because those are the days that I actually do more tasks and run errands um, instead of Tuesday and Friday. All right, so the, the flip through did not film. So right here, what we're looking at is individual flip through of the different collections in the bujo. So once again, thank you so much for watching my October plan with me video. Um, be sure to check out Fernando Botero's painting. It's very interesting to see. Absolutely check out Pedro Ruiz's website and look at his beautiful artwork. Also follow him on Instagram and be sure to subscribe to me so you can watch my videos for food, travel, and bujo. Salute!